Good morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards, and this is um, an example of what I'm making today. It's a little calendar that sits up like this, and it just you just flip the um, flip the <laughs> flip each month over, and it it goes th from March or January through. June on one side and then when you're done with that side you flip it over and then you've got July through December on the other side and for this paper I'll show you what paper I used and how I made this I used um, the paper that's a host reward paper it's on page 171 in the annual catalog and if you order retail a hundred and eighty dollars you can get this packet of paper which there's 48 sheets of paper for only eighteen dollars and it's a nice um, thick pack of paper with all kinds of pretty designs and I use this particular design for this um, calendar and then if you'd rather use other paper, if you go to page, find it here. Yeah. In the annual catalog starting on page 130. There's several different papers you can use um, to make this calendar. Any of them would work. This would be really pretty. Um, I think this paper would make a really pretty calendar and so would this paper. So today we're just using the um, what's called that's how it's called pattern party designer series paper. And then you're going to need two of these. Um, I save my card it's kind of a thin cardboard in here um, and I save it and cut it into strips and then you can use those strips for different projects if you don't want to buy 12 by 12 cardstock so here's a 4 by 12 inch piece that I actually use to make the stand and how I made that was it's Four inches this way and 12 inches this way scored at one and a fourth five and a fourth six six and three fourths and ten and three fourths and then you're just going to fold it um, like this fold it in half and then you're gonna fold this up this way and then this one this way so that becomes your part that, that's going to sit like this. And then you're going to fold these two pieces in, like so. And then you're going to glue these together, like this. Don't glue this part right here, as you can see. You want to glue these pieces together. And I used, um, I have still have some snail adhesive. But you can use any tape runner, you can use tear and tape. Um, I didn't try liquid glue, but you could try liquid glue. But you're going to want to glue these together and then set it aside. Because you want the glue to dry if you're going to use liquid glue. Because we're going to punch holes in this. So anyway, that's how you do that. And then to make the calendars, I used... Um, the Days to Remember stamp set, and I've got that, this one right here, I've got it over here, and then I wanted to start on Sunday through Saturday. You can do Monday through sa Sunday if you want, but I like Sunday through Saturday. And then I used the Stitch So Sweetly dies, and it's the second to, well, it's the one that measures space here. This die measures uh, 
three a little bit under three and one fourth by two and one eighth. So you're going to need to cut 12 of these. And I used the basic white cardstock to cut them. And I used um, an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of basic white cardstock and I cut it into three and one fourth by eight and one half inch strips. And that should be enough to get 12 of these um, pieces, okay? And then the first thing I did with this, well, I want to tell you this, everything I used first. And then I cut some of these out, die cut these, and they came from the Tasteful Labels dies, and it's this die right here. And you're going to need 12 of those. And then I wanted to put a year on mine. On this one I put used a circle die that I have. It's really small. It's about, let's see, what did I say? A, this is a three-quarter inch um, circle. You could use a three-quarter inch circle punch. These came from the Stamps of Life. And I just had those, and Stampin' Up! didn't have a die that size or a hole pun or a punch, so that's what I used to do this. <sighs> and these rings are came from Heidi Swap, and they're three quarter inch book rings, and you can probably find them on Amazon. I don't remember where I got them; I just had them here. So this one I did like this. This one, I put it off to the side, and then I thought it might look good to try to do it like this. So then you wouldn't need the circle a punch to do it this way. And I, it looked like each month would fit fine if you put it as far over here as you could get it. And for the year, I used this as retired. It's the Make a Difference stamp set, and I use these numbers down here. I didn't have any other stamp set that had small numbers on it that I could use to make the year, so that's what I used. So let me show you how I did this part. I put it on my Stamparatus and then I lined this up so that my Month, uh, days of the week were centered on here, just like so. And you want it level. Um, and then I just use this memento black ink and put a little bit of ink on there. And I went through and I stamped each of my 12 of these before I did the months. So I stamped these first. Just like that. Okay? And then I decided, okay, what month do I need? So I have a, a September 2022. And you're going to want to have a calendar handy for 2022 so you get your um, months right. The, so that your numbers for the days of the week are in the right place. So find, here's a September. So you're going to want, for September of 2022, you're going to want the first to start on Thursday. So in order to accomplish that, you go like this. And you're going to move this over till it lines up to match Thursday. It's a little tricky. But once you get it, lined up, then you can stamp. So we're going to put this up here to make sure it doesn't move. And then I'm 
check one more time to make sure it's centered where I want. I want it over this way just a little bit. So I want to get it as centered under the days of the week as I can get it. That looks good. Once you've got it centered, then you want to make sure that you're level this way. Okay? Then you're going to take tape or something, and you're going to cover up the part that you that you don't need. And I just use tape. You can use whatever you want. So I use tape. So now I'm going to cover this part up right here. And then September only has 30 days in it. So you need a small piece of tape because you're going to want to cover up 31. Because it'll look funny if you have 31 days in September when there's only 30. See on here, there's 30 days. So you want to cover up 31. Okay. And once you do that, this under here <coughs> you're going to ink these numbers and then very important you take your tape off otherwise you're gonna have black marks where you don't want them once you take your tape off you push this down get rid of your tape so you don't get it all over you ink all over you <laughs> and then you stamp that down okay and there's your month of September matches this one okay once you've done all of your little calendars then you're going to stamp your month and I just stamped Use the September from here, and I'll, I'll show you with December. You're going to take one of your little, one of these, and you're going to ink up your month, and you're going to stamp it over as, here as far as you can get it, to the left. You want to make room for your year if you're not going to use the circles like I did here. And then you're going to take, I have my little numbers. And you're going to stamp. You get it kind of close, but not too close. You just want to make sure you have room. And then there's zero. And if you have a different stamp set, um, or if you have this one, great. Like I said, this is the only one I could find that actually had the numbers that I could stamp. And I know it's reti it retired. It's not in the new catalog. But you might have an alternative that you can share with other people. I tried using my printer. That didn't look good. So I did just did this. So then you have your months. So here's my September for this. Okay. Then I took clean these off so I don't ink ink on me. Oops. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've um, done a video. A lot of things happening in my life. I had to temporarily go back to work to help my sister because the person she was, was working with her quit. So I had to help her and then train a new person to take that position. Still not quite done with that, but... It's something different. Anyway, and then my great-granddaughter had to go into the hospital, and she just got out, so she was in there for more than a month. 
but she is getting better and we're very pleased about that okay so those are my my excuses <laughs> now let's take this I'll set this aside I took to match this I used poppy parade ink and a sponge dauber and I just sponged around my um, elements that I'm going to put on here okay so let's set these aside you want to make sure you don't mix up your calendars here so to make sure we're going to look at the one I already made and June starts on Wednesday so that means this one's June and this one is July so I've got June and July okay so that one's July there I definitely didn't want to mix them up because then my calendar would be useless so then I took my this is four by four four by four four by four so you're gonna need six of these and this is that same um, uh, cardboard backing that's in the each of your um, pads of packets of paper save those they're useful I try not to waste anything then I took my 4x4 four four pieces of paper and these looked directional to me. This looked like a right side up flower so I didn't want them upside down. So I just use liquid glue. You can use um, tape runner adhesive. Uh, you can use tear and tape. This is just was quick and easy for me to use. So then you're just going to glue that to the front of your or one side of your um, paper here just like that flip it over make sure they're both going the same direction and you're going to put one on the other side just like so okay and you're going to do six of these you're going to put one month on the front and one month on the back. Okay? Then you're going to glue your June or your July, whichever. I'm, I labeled mine so I'd know which month they were. Just like so. I'll have all the directions uh, and everything to make this um, calendar on my blog. So you can find it. Then I took this, put a little dab of glue right here, and I just glued this right here. You gotta make sure it's straight. I said you can do this however you want. You can do it this way, this way, or this way right here. Just so you know which year you're working with. If you give this as a gift, they might want to know, oh, what, what year is this calendar? I thought they'd make cute gifts. So then you're just going to glue this. Kind of center it to the front. Like so. Okay. And then you're going to flip it over. So you're going to just, yeah, let me find it here, <laughs> oh, it's not in here, <laughs> okay, so it's going to look like this, so you're going to put July on the opposite side of your card here can be a little confusing but if you make your uh, make sure that your calendars are all going the same direction in other words 
if you flip it over like this, your calendar is still going, this is still the top right here. So you flip it over, this is the top. So then you're going to put this on here. Just like so. Make sure your year is straight. Like that. A little bit of glue on the back, if you can see that. And then you can embellish this however you want. I didn't because... Um, I don't want that straight. I didn't because I wanted it to be fairly flat. So I could make a box or, or it's easy to wrap. It's up to you. You can you can put embellishments on it if you if that's something you like to do. I just didn't. Okay. Put the lid on this. Okay, we're done with the gluing. So now I'm going to take this off. These things just kind of go like that, and then you can take them off. I don't need to Okay. We're almost done. Okay. Now, you want to make sure that your June is right after May. And you're going to take this, and I have a crocodile that I used, and I used um, the side that's a 3 16 hole punch. You can use whatever hole punch you want. This one just seemed to work best for um, this size of ring. So you're just going to punch this. And then punch this one. Just like so. Then you can put your calendar together. Again, make sure that June is following May. And then you're going to put it on your little thing that we made. It's like so. It's like this. Like I said, you can use any designer series paper. You could use up some of your old designer series paper and make these. Um, And there's your calendar. So this one looks like this, and this one looks like this. So you're going to need, um, for your designer series paper, you're going to need um, 12 of these, and you can only get 9 out of a sheet of designer series paper. So you're going to need one whole 12 by 12 sheet plus another four inch, four by 12 inch strip to get 12 of these. Anyway, this is the project for today. I hope you like it. And um, give me a thumbs up. You can take in this stamp set, I want to tell you there's a, a little circle. Um, stamp die in or stamp in here and then there's some other images that you could like I did on this one I circled January 1st because it's um, New Year's Day you could do that and decorate your calendar with these stamps um, you could put balloons you know on there however you want to decorate it my main goal was to show you how to use this um, stamp because you do have to cover up the numbers you're not using and then take those pieces of tape off so that you don't get the wrong numbers on there so you have a blessed day and um, if you're interested in signing up as a demonstrator or becoming my customer all the information you need is in 
it will be either be you can either go to my blog which is the down arrow or there's some links down below this video that will take you directly to my online store you have a blessed day and have fun stamping